Monoclonal antibodies are highly promising as tools for therapeutics and drug discovery research. Abgenics Incorporated of Fremont, California, specializes in the discovery, development, and production of high-affinity antibody therapeutics for itself and its partners. Abgenics recognized the need for quality antibody production capacity in this intensely competitive market. The company committed to an automation project that would add integrated capabilities in process science and manufacturing. You got to be the first kid on the block. What does that mean? You got to be the first kid on the block to discover the drug, get it out on the market, become a commercialized company. This new infrastructure would expand the company's development activities and allow Abgenics to form strategic product development partnerships with other therapeutics companies. So when we put together our capacity strategy for the facility, we specifically added extra capacity for those partners. The project design called for a new state-of-the-art 100,000 square foot, 12,000 liter scale, multi-use, multi-project processing facility with two separate parallel cell culture and recovery suites. Project success in this market required an accelerated timeline. Working within that timeline presented major challenges. The schedule never moved. The schedule stayed cast in stone to the date that they wanted and it was up to us to make sure that we had everything on site and running by that date. And I felt that it was unlikely we were going to do it that fast, just based on previous experience. To meet the challenges of this timeline, Abgenics needed an experienced, world-class process automation partner with the right balance of technology and industry expertise. What we did, okay, when we knew that we were given this project to design, build, validate, and make a product in less than three years, we looked at who all the players are and who we felt could really deliver us the product and get us through validation. That led us to uh, Emerson as our choice uh, for the system to operate the plant. And thank God we did, because for us to have done this in less than three years with a control system and have it validated, pretty phenomenal. Emerson Process Management brought world-class automation technology and expertise to the project. Abgenics and Emerson first formed a solid team to design strategies aimed at shortening the project timeline. It all began with project management. We had a very aggressive timeline, um, but we had a very, very talented group of, of people that we worked with uh, from Emerson. And they were really good at finding out, well, what is it actually that you want? Effective project management. Um, meant, meant several things in this project. It meant I'm really understanding Abgenics' schedule down to a very detailed level so that we can make sure that we were delivering the products just in time um, so that they were never waiting on our software or, or hardware. Everything happened in parallel. There was not a lot of work that happened in a serial fashion because of our timelines. And in fact, we got started on most of the design and the functionality of what we wanted from the system uh, purely by interviews and discussions. There was very little paperwork up front. We didn't have to explain biotech. They had an idea of what, what the tanks needed to do, what a CIP system needed, needed to do, what some of the you know, spe more specific you know, bioreactors, chromatography units, TFF units needed to do. And that helped a lot. We were kind of reassured because we felt so comfortable that the Emerson part would come together that we knew, you know, as long as the valve was there, as long as the pH meter was there, as long as the flow meter was there, Emerson would find a way to make it communicate and, and work all together. They were able to prompt us with a lot of different uh, questions and a lot of very good questions that can only come through experience. There was a clear project lead uh, that we had the majority of our interactions with. But when it came down to different areas or, or some of the real specific nuts and bolts types of things, we had a, a single point of contact or one person that was running that phase of the project. I like the way I got good updates from the project manager at Emerson on, on the cost, you know, how much money we were spending, where the hours were going, and where the schedule was. Another powerful Emerson strategy for reducing project timelines is the field-proven plant web architecture with the Delta V digital automation system and bus technologies. We wanted something that was proven, known, uh, the regulatory agencies had seen before uh, and that was flexible and also would allow us to run the facility in an efficient fashion and collect the data and information we needed to collect. 
We had solid Delta V standards that we brought with us, solid uh, personnel with, that understood their process, and those two things brought to their side gave them confidence that we could do the job for them. Essentially, we always came down to the, the uh, thought that if the equipment from a hardware standpoint could function in any manner that you could think of, Delta V could automate it. Their startup time and their, their time to install wiring and things was cut down, uh, checkout was reduced, and uh, allowed us to do a, a better job of doing configuration for them. We had very little rework uh, from a commissioning standpoint and uh, very little rework from a testing standpoint uh, since we went with bus, bus technology. The timing, it's always critical, you know, and uh, you asked me about, okay, did we meet all the timelines that, 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 that we had to? We, we did, and it's because we made the right decisions. We took equipment that was standard, off the shelf, we took the Emerson Delta V. We didn't want to customize it. You know, that, those are all critical decisions, and it helped us meet our schedule. We reduced the amount of wiring that we had to run out in the plant. Uh, using foundation fill bus, commissioning was easy. You know, the guys did a good job of building the system, and uh, it's just a cool system. Like I said, I love my Delta V system. Simulating the automation before commissioning also saved Evgenix time while giving their operators better insight into their process. And so it really gave us the opportunity to evaluate the automation and learn the Delta V system even before we had a tank in the building. I could run the WIFI system or I could run a bioreactor or I could run a chromatography skid or a TFF skid. I could load buffer prep tanks and transfer them over to buffer hold tanks. We, we qualified our software off-site, uh, we tested it, brought it to site, put it on, and ran it. I mean, that's just how simple it was. Like most of the world's top pharmaceutical companies, Abgenix turned to Delta V batch software for its ease of use and time-saving capabilities. The batch executive and the way Delta V works and is set up to execute batches and administer uh, batches has worked very well for us. It's very user-friendly. Uh, it's easily traceable from a batch-to-batch -batch standpoint. Having worked with some other systems in the past, they didn't have that same, that same flexibility that, I, that I'm seeing in Delta V right now. Because we're able to go in and create a recipe, you know, on the fly in a day, almost. With minimal training, our operators can be running the bioreactors. Um, once they start a batch, it will walk you through all the steps that you need to know. Um, and when you need to enter information, um, it will prompt you for that information. The very fact that it can track uh, every valve, every instrument, uh, everything that we've configured into the system and provide continuous trending uh, is incredibly important. But the other piece to that is how user-friendly that trending really is. Emerson's expertise in documentation allowed them to deliver strategies that were used to go straight into validation, achieving certification and timeline goals at the same time. We really worked closely with them to um, put together functional requirements that would easily flow into the Delta V configuration and subsequently flow into developing efficient uh, test protocols and provide, ultimately provide the plant with the documentation they would need to make this Delta V system a validatable system for them. I think what we drew upon was actually Emerson's ability, because you, you've gone through the rigors of validation, you know what the clients are looking for. It was that perfect blend of the right amount of documentation. Uh, that, that's what helped us. Abgenix relied on Emerson's leadership in process control technology. But equally important, the company relied on its partnership with Emerson's people. I guess we were chosen for our technology, but, you know, technology is no good unless you have people that can uh, apply it. So, you know, a big part of this project was the people. It was a very good team. There was no real dividing line between Abgenix and the Emerson team. I mean, and, and I, it sounds kind of cliche, but it really was. Part of the biggest reason I think it was such a success um, was the fact that you know the Delta V came through when we needed, and I think a big piece of that was um, the guys we worked with in St. Louis were just incredible. Once again, Emerson Process Management brought together world-class technology, engineering, 
industry expertise, and project management to create powerful solutions for their customer. And the Abgenix team got the results they were looking for as an antibody therapeutics company with a full set of drug development capabilities. I definitely feel that it's amazing that we actually got the thing done uh, based on our timelines. Uh, I was a little skeptical that we were going to be able to do that, even you know, given a, a very, very talented group on the other side. I have to say, you know, it, things went extremely well, uh, much better than I thought they were going to go. The bioreactors were, I thought, a phenomenal success. We have potentially the most state-of-the-art facility uh, currently in production uh, from a hardware uh, standpoint, equipment standpoint, personnel, process and certainly automation. So it's a showpiece for us, uh, not only internally, but to a lot of other companies who we uh, work with in the industry. You know, you can do great research, okay, but the name of the game is you can need to take that research, turn it into a product you can sell, and bring revenue back to the company. Because we were able to, to bring the building up so quickly, uh, and so reliably, uh, we were able to start using it uh, years sooner than your average biotech bulk facility project. Uh, so where most companies talk about uh, five to seven years uh, from start of project to operation, um, we were able to do that in just over three years. So the automation system being extremely reliable, having it be state of the art, having it um, be flexible enough to work with a lot of different companies and their different needs is very, very important from a business standpoint. 